Hi everyone. In this, we are going to solve a nice exponential problem, which is 9 to the power of x minus 6 to the power of x equals to 4 to the power of x. And we need to find what is the value of x. So here, the first step, you can try it by your own um, and then try to check out the answer. Um, so here, the first step, what we're going to do is, I'm going to write the equation back. So let me write it down back, which is 9 to the power of x minus 6 to the power of x equals 4 to the power of x. Now, the first step what I'm going to do is divide both sides by 4 to the power of x. So let me divide it, 4 to the power of x, this as well, and this as well. Now when we divide, this gets cancelled out, it's equal to 1. So we have 9 to the power of x. Now, for this thing, I'm going to write a law here that says uh, a to the power of n over b to the power of n. This is in this form, right? Which is equal to, now you can write it as a over b whole to the power of n. So we're going to combine uh, the powers. So 9 over 4 whole to the power of x minus the same thing applies here as well so 6 over 4 whole to the power of x is equal to 1 now what can we do what should be our next step to solve let's see you can write 9 as 3 squared so we cannot split that 3 squared 9 is just 3 squared and what is 4 that is 2 squared then we have whole to the power of x minus we have 6 and 4. So you can just cancel this out, simplify it. 2 times 2 is 4, 2 times 3 is 6. So again you have 3 over 2. Now if you see, you're coming to a common base as we are simplifying step by step. Now the next step would be what? Here you have uh, the powers. Again, I'm going to write something here. All right, that is a to the power of m whole to the power of n. When you have a power to power, you multiply the powers. That's right. And also, you can reverse change the positions of the power like this. So we are going to change the position of the powers. But first, we are going to apply the same rule what we have applied here before. We applied this a to the power of n whole to the power of b to the power of n. So we combine the power. So we're going to combine first and then apply that rule. So here we have 3 over 2 whole to the power of 2. And we have whole to the power of x minus I have 3 over 2 whole to the power of x is equal to 1. So here I'm going to apply this law where I'm going to interchange the powers. So I have 3 over 2 whole to the power of x whole to the power of 2 minus again I have the same thing 3 over 2 whole to the power of x is equal to 1 now what can we do what do you see you have I have we have come all over to the same base 3 over 2 x 3 over 2 raised to x so you can now substitute, you can let that 3 over 2 whole to the power of x is equal to any variable you like. Let's say u. So now when you substitute this as u, you get u squared minus u is equal to 1. Now you bring 1 this side, so it will become u squared minus u minus 1 is equal to 0. Now you have an equation in a quadratic form. It's a quadratic equation, of course. So we are going to find the solutions using the quadratic formula. So what's the quadratic formula? I'm going to write it down here. So the equation is u squared minus u minus 1 equals to 0. Yes. And now we're going to apply quadratic formula. What's the quadratic formula? U, you're finding the values of U. So minus B plus or minus under root of 
b square minus 4ac over 2a now what is our b this is in the form of an equation ax squared plus bx plus c so b is minus 1 so we're going to write a is 1 b is minus 1 and c is minus 1 let's substitute in our equation u is equal to negative of negative 1 plus or minus under root of you have b squared that is negative 1 the whole squared minus 4 into 1 into c is again negative 1 over 2 times 1 now when you're going to simplify u is equal to 1 plus or minus under root of 1 plus 4 that is 5 over 2 so i don't need this part. 1 plus or minus square root of 5 over 2 and that's the golden ratio this fraction u is equal to so i'm going to write that separately u is equal to 1 plus square root of 5 over 2 and you can have 1 minus square root of 5 over 2 this is called as a golden ratio this fraction 1 plus or minus square root of 5 over 2 is called as the golden ratio now we're going to solve u as we have substituted something as u if you remember so we're going to substitute it back what was our u if you remember that we substituted u as 3 over 2 whole to the power of x we're going to write it back 3 over 2 whole to the power of x is equal to 1 plus square root of 5 over 2 and here as well we know substitute the same thing 3 over 2 whole to the power of x is equal to 1 minus square root of 5 over 2 now if you see 1 minus square root of 5 over 2 is a negative value this is positive this is lesser than 0 so they cannot be equated so let's try it off no we are going to go ahead with this solution so what's that solution let me write it down so we have this we're going to solve for this now uh, we can apply log on both sides to solve it and that's pretty easy log 3 over 2 whole uh, we're gonna apply log of same base on both sides 3 over 2 whole to the power of x and which is equal to the same thing log of base 3 over 2 and 1 plus square root of 5 over 2 now if you have something like this log of a to the base b and that has a power that equals to the power goes this side x log a base b so we're going to apply this rule here so we get x and we have log 3 over 2 base 3 over 2 is equal to the same thing here log 1 plus square root of 5 over 2 base 3 over 2 now what are we going to do <clears throat> we have another log related to logs whenever you have something like this log c to the base c is always equal to 1 so we're going to apply it here so x times 1 is 1 and here we have log 1 plus square root of 5 over 2 base 3 over 2 now if you see i have another law which says log a to the base b is equal to you can write it as log a to the base m over log b to the base m and so we're going to apply that here we have <clears throat> x is equal to log 1 plus square root of 5 over 2 over log of 3 over 2. 
now to simplify that let's see x is equal to now we're going to get so we have applied this law now we're going to apply another law on this that's equal to i'm going to write it here x is equal to oh, sorry log of a over b if you have something like this which is equal to log a minus log b so if you have something like this it's subtracted so let's solve for that so our equation is log of 1 plus square root of 5 minus log 2 right divided by and the denominator was log 3 over 2 so we have log 3 minus log 2 and if we solve for that log of 1 plus square root of 5 is log of 3.236 approx minus log 2 over the same thing log 3 minus log 2 now if you solve further you'll get the values of x x is equal to 0 0.51 minus log 2 will be 0 0.301 log 3 will be 0 point, 0 point approximately be 4 cent minus 0 0.307 and when you subtract and solve, you'll get 0 0.209 over 0 0.1761. And that's equal to 1.1868. So we have got the value of x. x is equal to 1.1868. So let's check and verify if our value is right or not. So when you have to check, what was our equation for what we are solving 9 to the power of x minus 6 to the power of x equals to 4 to the power of x so let's substitute x value of x in this 9 to the power of 1.1868 minus 6 to the power of 1.1868 is equal to 4 to the power of 1.1868 and that's equal to this is approximately 13.5673 minus 8.3851 and that's equal to around 5.1823 for this one so let's subtract and check you get 5.1822 which is approximately equal to yes this one 5.1823 so that's right it's the value of x is approximately 1.1868 so hope you like this session if you have any comments you can uh, if you have any suggestions you can write it in the comments thank you so much for joining thank you for watching and always supporting making lk logic is the best channel ever love you all a lot thank you so much bye bye take care and have fun